So for biomedical engineering, I thought it's Dundee is the best place because we have Nine Wells Hospital, we have fantastic um, School of Medicine, and also we have a really strong uh, research in science and engineering. Ultrasound is one of the important topics over here, and it's very, un make, uh, it's very unique for Dundee to study on ultrasound and also teaching students for the ultrasound topics there because it's, ultrasound is quite um, important for medical cares. And to look at ultrasound, actually, that's my starting point of the research in Dundee. Looking at ultrasound, people thinking about ultrasound probably were thinking about ultrasound imaging. And um, ultrasound imaging it probably is widely used in healthcare. And ultrasound imaging um, systems actually, it looks like that. Probably people, lots of people, if you've been to the hospital, you will see that uh, it's, it's the system over here. And um, it has a monitor system on the top to show the, um, the images there. And also they have a control system. And also there's, there has a very important um, device over here is called transducers, which is in touch with the patients that we can receive some signals to have the images there. And ultrasound probably will see, and most people will see, thinking about ultrasound as scanning baby, for babies there. And ultrasound for scanning the babies has have a lot of uh, new advantages and development there, from the 2D scans and the black and white and image there into 3Ds, now in 4Ds. And you can see there is the ultrasound image is quite clearly show the baby movements in, um, and there are so quite uh, nice pictures over there. And also ultrasound has been used, not only in just scanning for babies, have used for many other applications there. For example, um, ultrasound has been put it under, under the endoscopies there to, to scan the inside of the bodies. And also importantly, there's ultrasound has been used as an image guidance for many procedures. For example, um, when people doing the uh, um, biopsies procedures there, there's often is done under ultrasound guidance. An ultrasound image has provided as a very important guidance for many procedures, you know, uh, and also I'm going to talk about in, uh, in the next few slides, talking about ultrasound for other applications there. Ultrasound imaging is just like a sound wave travel inside of the body, and we, using the transducer, we can receive some signals and to provide an image and to guide the procedures there. And this has been used as very important tools for diagnosis as well. Because of the development in ultrasound, they not only just see the image, and they also can measure the properties of the tissues as well. In other areas of ultrasound, probably people probably not know and that many knows about ultrasound has been used for surgeries as well. So in the surgeries, in the open or the um, keyhole surgeries there, People using, the surgeons using the ultrasound to dissect the tissues. And how it works is that actually it's just using uh, ultrasound waves, or we say that as a mechanical engineer, we say that it's a vibrations motions, using that vibrations motions to cut tissues, to reduce the damage and reduce the bleedings. And also it has been used for other places, you know, if you go to the dental treatments there, you probably have used ultrasound machines already. Ultrasound has been used for dental cleaning procedures or the implant procedures there. Because of the loss of different treatments there, as engineering, we have to design different tools to fit for the different purposes there. So you probably will see that in the dental and um, treatment rooms there, there's a lot of different um, type of the two tips and to fit it onto the device and for the different purpose of the treatments there. So the, the key areas we do look in is the, here is the transducer here and that provide a mechanical vibrations to the two tips and applying for the different procedures there. 
And for this case there, ultrasound has been used as an energy source to provide a lot of energy, mechanical vibration and energy towards the, uh, towards the surgeries and to damage the tissues here. And the energy source um, it provide, uh, over here is used at much higher energy, but lower frequencies here. Then another one is a very interesting one. Recent, in the recent years, it's developed as a, using ultrasound for the uh, non-invasive surgeries. So it's, um, it's called that therapeutic ultrasound. Using the ultrasound wave and focus inside of the body towards the tumors, if there's a tumor inside of the body without open the surgeries and you can treat tumors because of the energy put into the focus point there instead of uh, open the surgery and cut the tumor out. So that's a new area to look at. The, the design of that kind of um, the uh, ultrasound devices is similar to the ultrasound uh, imaging devices and using the uh, ult ultrasound energy, a bit of more energy and apply to the, to the human tissues there. And without focus, and there's quite harm, uh, harmless because uh, the energy is not high enough to damage the tissue. But when it's focused, it's generate massive heat around the, tissue, around the tissue you want to destroy. For example, it's a tumor over there. So without cut patient open, you can treat patients and patients can walk out from the surgery rooms. So that's a very, one of the very interesting areas, a new areas for the surgeries. And it has been applied to many, many of the um, treatments there. For example, there's a liver and cancer treatments and prostate and um, brain tumors or the uterine fibers is a very common um, treatment for using ultrasound right now. So there's a lot of uh, interesting um, procedures and applications in medicine using ultrasound. But for us, if we want to develop further for ultrasound, in terms of biomedical engineering, ultrasound research for us is try what we're trying to do is we're using our knowledge trying to understand what happens between the tissues and the ultrasound devices and trying to find a solution to solve the problems. So in our research, ultrasound research in our labs over here, we set up a very nice uh, facilities to study tissues and to regenerate t um, models for the human bodies. For example, we're using the data that we come from the ultrasound image or MRI image or CT image, we reconstruct it and trying to understand the structure of that and also to test the property of those tissues there and try to understand what's the, um, the biology or the medical um, the issues around those tissues there. So in our labs over here, we develop a nice models for tissue mimicking materials. We can fabricate um, all the materials we generated from the medical images. We also, we can testing it and we can put that together into a nice model to mimic the patient data. We not only to look at the structure wise, we also can generate the patient um, breathing motions because that's important for the surgeries. So we create a model with the structure similar to the patient, individual patients. We also can generate to mimic the patient's um, breathing motions plus the blood flow motions as well. So in our lab, we have generated a lot of the reconstructed, lots of images. For, for, for example, over here is the images we generated from the ultrasound uh, scan for the babies. And those images is, or models is generated from the patient data because we're trying to study um, what's the effect of the focus ultrasound on the liver treatments there. So we generate a model to represent the, the, uh, the ribs and the kidneys, livers of prostates and, and putting the perfusions and putting the blood flow circulation inside of the uh, model we generated there and we can characterize it in our lab. 
And then what we do is we're using that knowledge to apply the design of the systems. So the design of the systems, including study the material we use, for example, the piezoelectric material, which is a key material to generate and to use for ultrasound devices. And we put the devices together based on the understanding of the tissue side and the devices side. We also can put that together with a con nice control system and the software to, to, um, to analyze the data and produce the nice images there. So we can produce a nice system for the different applications. The most important thing is about applications because and the, all the devices you, de you developed, they have to be for different applications, have to suit uh, those applications there. So in ultrasound research in our lab here, we're looking at applications in all these three areas, in the imaging, surgery, and also in the interventions as well. Um, so for example, the image-guided uh, uh, therapeutic ultrasound surgeries. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of our work using ultrasound. So one of the examples we're looking at is ultrasound-guided procedures. Ultrasound-guided procedures probably is a um, quite important area to look at because needle procedures happens everywhere, especially important for the cancer biopsies procedures or anesthesia procedures there because it's important to see where is the needle located. And then you can, if you using the needle biopsies there and the, the accuracy in the needle uh, location, especially the tip, is very, very important because otherwise you will miss the target. So the accuracy in those procedures is rely on the image provided, and which is the ultrasound in most of the cases over here. So trying to improve the needle um, visibility is a, one of the key things the, um, the clinical people are trying to address. So what we do, our solutions over here in our lab is we designed ultrasound devices based on the same principle as the ultrasound surgeries using a, small, a simple device like the surgery side, the, we have the Small, we have the ultrasound um, devices designed and with a piezoelectric materials inside and put that together um, with uh, standard needles. And what, what we can see is the difference between the none of the ultrasound uh, needles with the standard needles there. With the standard needle, we only, you can't really see, um, you can't really see the, the Without ultrasound, you can't see the needle located, so it's difficult to locate where the drug's supposed to go or where you take the biopsies there. But with the small vibration we provide from the ultrasound devices here, we can see the needle properly, and we also can see to, to, to see the needles when it goes into the tissues there, or uh, we can see the, all the pathways over there. Um, as uh, examples, this one has been, this work has been um, kind of taken forward by uh, medical companies and uh, to commercialize that and to help the, especially on the, um, the cancer biopsy um, procedures. The other things we like to look at is the, um, especially it's quite interesting to see is the other imaging modalities, for example, the OCTs. OCT has been used as uh, imaging modalities for using the eye test. And the combination of ultrasound and OCTs, and we develop a very unique um, kind of um, techniques to detect uh, cancers, uh, cancers um, using that the ultrasound, combination of ultrasound and OCT together to provide a better image and a property measurements. So over here, I show you here is an example of the quality of the images we produce over here. So we can, using the combination of ultrasound and OCTs, we can produce 
uh, image with really high resolutions and with a resolution about the five or 10 microns. So we can see the, like one of the skin samples, one of the um, tissue, the fat samples we have there. And especially, I'm going to finish off here, is that the, the ultrasound OCTs also, we can provide the um, blood vessel information, and also we can measure the biopsy samples in the way that we can measure the properties individually and in the real times. So what that happens is that it happens in a, a minute's time or a few minutes to process that data and to provide where probably has the cancers over there. So what's the future of the, the, the surgery? Yes, yeah, so that's the last page anyway. So what's the, um, the future of the surgery could be is that we can do the scanning. It's like the Star Treks there. We can do the scanning and in the real times, and then we can use focus ultrasound to treat the diseases without open the surgeries. So the patient can walk in like the checkup, not knowing the, the diseases, and work out with the disease free. So that's our future for using ultrasound for diagnosis and the surgeries here. So I'm going to finish off there, over here. So that's the acknowledgements for the students.